Okay, boys and girls, this is Eugene Hughes Motorized. This is part 11, how to build a motorized bicycle. We're putting a 6680cc two-stroke on a beach cruiser here. This part covers the carburetor, okay? Now, if you don't do this right, yep, you're going to have you some problems. All right, so here we got the carburetor, the cable, and all that good stuff here. We're going to focus on getting the carburetor and cable installed today. We'll get into the throttle and the like uh, further on down the line when I do the controls, mounting stuff up on the handlebars. Okay, so let's take a look at the carburetor. When to install the cable, first thing you want to do is unscrew the cap of the carburetor and we want to make sure that the cable holder on top of the cap is screwed in all the way that's going to make uh, getting it installed uh, that much easier well i'll show you how to adjust it later on in our uh, tutorial here and next little item that comes out is the needle and then the little clip that goes on top that little clip is a keeper that holds the needle in place that and the spring itself work to keep that keeper in place and then we're going to have to use our pinky finger there to get the throttle slide out of the carburetor. Now the slide only goes in the carburetor one way. Okay, and there's one way we can tell. You see that little notch cut in there? That is where the idle adjustment screw hits the throttle slide and that forces it up, lets more air in. And we have the groove cut in on the slide. So you want to make note of those two items there. Okay, so let's take our needle and we're going to pop the needle in from the top. That means that little notch I'm talk I talked about earlier goes on the bottom, right? Okay, now we're going to put our little Pac-Man looking uh, keeper on top of the needle. And uh, that thing's job is to hold the needle in position. And then we have the opening in it that has to line up with the, the groove or the notch that's cut into the throttle slide. Now I'm going to pull the carburetor into the cable out all the way. That's going to make our job a little bit easier. We're going to slide the carburetor cap on like you see here. Okay, and grip it like you like I'm doing there. We're going to put the spring on. Now what I'm going to do is compress the spring somewhat and now I've got as much of that cable to play with as I can. Now that little keeper, I've still got the hole lined up with the notch and we slide in the cable just like you see there. Now make note of the gas inlet tube here on the carburetor. And if we look inside there, we can see that little pin. You see that little pin right there? Well, that pin is what registers against the groove that's cut in on the slide. And if we look deeper in the carb, we see there is the jet that I have highlighted there in red. Well, the needle goes into the hole that I identified there. And of course, the pin goes into the groove cut into the slide and I'm operating the cable and you can see that the slide is moving up and down. Everything looks good. The slide is going most all of the way down inside of the carburetor. Now if you're fortunate you've got plenty of room for the carburetor to fit on your bike. Not all of them have enough room. Your cable might be interfering with the frame or the air filter might be bumping against the seat tube. So let's take a top look at it here. If you have an issue with it fitting an alternative fit would be using an offset intake. And what the offset intake does is it allows you to move the carburetor over to the side and back a little bit. And that'll take care of some of your problems. Now, let's take a good look at the carburetor here and how we're going to fit it on. See that little stop there that I indicated in red? Well, that stop has to be pushed firmly against the intake. So we've got to push it in that far. Now, you also see the four little slots that are cut into the body of the carburetor, those have to go over the intake. And the overall picture is we need to get the carburetor pushed in that far. Let's take a look at me trying to put one on and failing. And I'll show you some of the things that people uh, come up with here uh, in dealing with this here. Now, I noticed that there's a goober on the intake here, meaning it had gotten hit and you got a little dent in it and the metal that was displaced also pushed up and it, it's making it difficult for the carburetor to slide over it. So I used my knife. If I'd have had a file close by, I'd have done that, but I was lazy. So I used my knife. It's soft metal. And I scraped 
the excess material away. So what you're going to want to do is push the carburetor in firmly and give it a twist. And this is where a lot of people have some problems. Not that they can't figure out how to put the round thing into the round hole, but it can be tough sometimes and it's a tight fit. Now I, there I am messing around with a flat blade screwdriver on a Phillips screw and I didn't get that uh, clamp loosened up enough and there was my problem and I was really struggling and it, it needed to go on just a little bit more. Okay, so let's measure here. Okay, so I got out my trusty knife and I pushed it firmly against that stop and look, it's, it should be going all the way up there and I'm struggling to get it. So I finally grabbed the right screwdriver and I loosened that clamp up a little bit more. Okay, and I'm pushing pretty hard. I'm giving it all my gazumpas there, pushing it turning it. You want to do both at the same time. You want to push and turn and I finally got it on there. Okay, so now let's take a look at the intake there and as you see with all my struggling, I, the intake was somewhat loose. So I, there's a chance for an air intake leak in which case this engine won't run correctly if I don't rectify that and I don't like those acorn nuts on that either. Okay, but let me show you an easy installation here, and it's still somewhat difficult, okay? You don't need to put a rubber O-ring in there. You just need to push it in all the way. Take your time. Push and twist and push and twist and just stay with it. Be persistent, okay? Look, it needs to go in that far, all right? And just that last little bit, yeah, buddy, I got it right there, and I could feel it bottom out, okay? So, mission accomplished. Bottom line, I just want you to see is you can struggle with getting the carburetor on, but you need to make sure it goes all the way on, otherwise you're going to be sucking air in those four little grooves that are cut in the carburetor body, and you need to get it pushed all the way in. I hope you found this video informative. We've got more to go on the how to install a two-stroke on, on your bicycle. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Click that subscribe button. I want to thank you for watching. Y'all take care now, you hear?